Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mediocre Painting with me, Wayne. Today we're going to do some easy decals. I've been getting a lot of requests from some of our newer painters here at the shop to show them how to do decals, and uh, we're going to try and take the fear out of that today by showing a couple of different applications. I've got a 15 millimeter. Uh, Flames of War T62 that I've painted up. I've got an old school Elven Shield. It's kind of a flat curved surface. And then I've got, get this out of here, 40K Laser Destroyer. And we're going to slap one here right on the rivet line to show you how some more regular surfaces work and how to do that. Recording this live, so if I mess up, uh, I'm sorry and deal with it. Anyway, the first step for doing decals, and we're talking about water slide transfers that come on a thin grayish blue piece of paper like this. Uh, we're not talking about dry rub transfers. Um, and there are different types of decals out there that aren't like this. These are some Forge World Games Workshop elf decals that I bought because I'm an elf fanboy, as anybody who knows me knows. There are other decals out there that don't work like this. This is um, a basic decal application, and I'll get to some other advanced stuff uh, at some other time, but we're not doing that right now. First thing that we do is on the surface that we're going to put the decal on, is do some gloss varnish. Now I've already glossed this shield and I've already glossed the side of this tank here because I was prepared, um, but I haven't done the turret on my tank. So what I like to use is the glossy varnish from Ammo of MIG. Um, I normally will run this through my airbrush to airbrush it on because it gets it smoother but we don't have that set up here right now and so I'm just gonna brush it on to the side of the turret of this tank. And the reason we do this is because anybody who knows anything about decals knows that they are shiny. And so if you put a shiny surface below your shiny decal and then later after your decal is dried and you mat coat over it, the shiny that's under the shiny of your decal will mute that out so it won't give you that such a pronounced shadow line around your decal. So I'm just going to put this roughly on this turret right about where I think that decal is going to go. And then we're going to set that to the side and let it dry while I show you how to put it on this flat shield. And if you use, you can use any gloss varnish. You don't have to use Ammo MIG. You can use Vallejo, you can use Games Workshop Art Coat. I just like this because it's thin. It's ready to go through an airbrush. And when if you hand brush it, it levels out a lot easier and doesn't leave like brush marks in the gloss as much. So this is just my preferred brand um, to each their own. I'm not being endorsed by Ammo of MIG for this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do look at this shield see kind of where we want to place it now i've left it on the sprue um purely because it's easier for me to handle it this way you'll likely be doing this as a final stage on the model with this already glued to somebody but i'm cheating right now and putting this to where it's easier for me so and it's easier for me to show you this gotta love my dating on this gw 1992 because i'm old as fuck. yeah all right, so I have what's called a decal tray. Um, I got this from a Japanese hobby company. I don't remember who it was. I think it might be a Tamiya tray. It might be Mr. Hobby. I've had it for years. I don't remember. I haven't seen them very much anymore. I don't know if they're still made. That being said, you don't need this bullet. Uh, you can just put it in any kind of a little cup or um, even fill one of the pallet things on a paint tray and put water in there. That's enough water. You don't need a lot for this. This is gimmicky bullshit, which I'm all about. If you know me, I love gimmicky bullshit. Don't judge me. So I'm going to first step I'm going to do 
before I get started here with these other things is I'm going to show you the prep for the surfaces that I use. So after the gloss that's on there is dry, the first thing you're going to set on your surface to be decaled is micro set. Now this helps soften up the decal when you, when you put it on there and helps uh, it adhere to the surface better. And then the next stage after that is dry is this is your stage two, this is micro sol. And this goes on after the set has dried, you put this on over top of the decal to kind of solvent it down and like smooth it out and help it adhere more. See, they're conveniently numbered with a one and a two. So this is your first step and this is your second when you're going to this. I wanted to tell you that now because when I start like getting the decals wet and stuff, I'm not gonna have a lot of work time. So if you're wondering what the f am I doing, this is what I'm doing. Now, we're gonna cut out our decal for our shield. First off, you wanna think about placement. It's a shield, it's pretty easy. It's going right in the middle. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out my decal. Now you can use an X-Acto knife, which is pretty standard, most guys use it. Cut out, trace around your decal with it, and then cut it out and drop it in your water. Once again, keeping with my theme of being a bougie these are my Tamiya decal scissors. Um, they're very fine point. I love these things. They are super good for getting really close to the decal. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut out my decal. Voila. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a white elven rune underneath this blue eagle. Well, phoenix, rather. Now that these are two actual separate decals, but I'm going to apply this as one because they go right on top of each other like this, and it's just easier for me to do that way. And I've done probably a dozen of these shields already for the unit I'm painting, so we're just going to plop it in there. And what my gimmicky decal tray does is keeps this decal here in a shallow bed of water on the top. And if you forget and leave your guy in there too long and your decal kind of starts to migrate away, in theory, it'll be caught on these little filters and you can just lift it up out of here and there's your decal ready for you to get. So. Now we got our decal in the tray. This usually takes about 30 seconds or so to get it going to, for it to release. So in that time, I'm gonna take my micro set and brush it on my shield. We're just dipping right out of the container here. I'm gonna take the shield and brush it on. Now, if you've got a good gloss coat on there, this stuff will kind of try to bead a little bit like a wax coat on a car. You just kind of got to work it in and work it over the whole thing. All right, we're just going to let that sit. So now we can test and see. You want to check and see if your decal's done. Yep, and you can see it kind of shuffles around there. So it's ready to come out of the water. I'm going to take a pair of tweezers. These are my fancy Mr. Hobby Bevelin tweezers. And I'm going to lift this bad boy up. I said, I'm going to lift this bad boy up. I'm going to shake it off. I'm going to take a little bit of paper towel and just kind of set it on there to take away some of that extra water. Because it's got some, it's definitely got some on there. Okay. And then we're going to take and use our paintbrush. And we're going to slide the decal from the transfer onto the surface. And this is where you get to manipulate things with the brush. Okay. We're just going to center it up. And get our rune in place here below. 
I said get it in place below. There we go. And then I'm going to take the corner of the paper towel and just kind of tap around that surface. Try not to move the decals too much to get away any extra water. Do any fine tuning. Okay. And you can see that's set on there now. Now we're gonna let this dry for a couple of minutes, let that set up, and then we'll be hitting it with our the Microsol, the second stage of this process. And I'll be that. All right, so while this is drying, I'm gonna move on to doing the tank, one of the tanks. So I'm gonna be doing this riveted side right over these rivets of this laser destroyer. I haven't done this in a while, so hopefully this works. <laughs> Same thing, we're going to take our decal scissors. I'm going to cut out one of these little Egyptian-style eagles because my, uh, my 40K army is desert-themed, and this seems to work. I'm going to take that bad boy, drop him down in the water. Once again, take our micro set. Try and do this reverse here and we'll show you, so I can show you. And I'm just brushing over that area with the micro set. You can get a little sloppy with it, it evaporates off. By the smell of it, I think it's mostly vinegar. I'm going to switch this out of the frame here. There we go. There we go. That's a better view. We'll spread that microset all over here. I keep an eye on that red light. All right, decals ready to go. Take it. Tap to get that water. So let's see if I can do this left-handed. Boom. All right. And then we take and we're gonna position this decal over this crevice in these rivets. Okay. Once again, Okay. I'm going to get a little bit of more of the micro set because this isn't a regular surface. And I'm going to brush it on this decal. And this is going to help soften this bad boy up so that it kind of molds over those rivets a little bit better. Okay. And now I'm going to set this guy to the side to let him dry. And then we're going to get back to the T62. Luckily, this turret is removable, so I'm just going to play with this for right now. Set the body to the side. Okay, our gloss varnish from earlier has dried, so we can do that pretty easy. I'm going to cut out the number on this guy. And this is going to be a curved surface that we're doing on this side of the turret. We're going to be putting the tank number right here. You see there's a little, there's a little hump from the turret, um, the grab bar or whatever it is around the turret. I think it's a grab bar. I'm not sure on T62. And then we're going to have that, that tank number like right over top of this area here. Now, ideally, you're not an impatient fuck like me. And you put this decal on before you do all your fancy ass weathering. Um, 
I'm going to create enough more work for myself is I, I like my decals to look weathered too, but for the purposes of this video, it's going to look like he just got this paint done. So once again, putting our micro set on the surface. And these are battlefront decals, so sometimes they take a little longer to let loose. So we're going to be patient for a minute. So we've got our decal on our brush. Picked it up out of the water because I let it sit too long. <laughs> I'm just going to apply it to the side of the turret like so. Let it sit there. All right. It kind of folds up on that turret lip, that little lip, just fine. And lays pretty flat so that's good for us that's what we want so set that over here go back in its home to dry so now we've applied our decals now we're going to go to stage two so we'll go back to our first decal and it's pretty dry so now we're going to hit it with the the saw. And it even tells you here on the thing. Using a soft brush, gently apply a micro saw onto the decal, being careful not to move the decal during application. Do not touch decal after applying micro saw, as the decal is now soft and can easily be distorted. Allow decal to dry completely. That's exactly what I was going to tell you, except they said it better. So we take this. Whereas your microset smells like uh, vinegar, this stuff smells like Windex. Is there a relation? I don't know. But we're going to paint just lightly go over the decal with the Microsol. Let me see, I got it all over the place. Let me set it aside. We do the same thing with our eagle on the side here. And then we're going back to our T62. Paint that on there. See, this one's still a little too wet, but it'll work anyway. That's why it tells us to be careful not to move the decal, because it will. So we're just going to blot it on and let that set for a while. Now, that's three decals applied to some surfaces that are... This is pretty standard and flat, kind of irregular going around the rivets. And then we got a curved surface on the side of the T62 with a little kick out at the top. So this will get you through most decal application settings. After these are completely dry in a couple of hours, I will hit this with a matte varnish. Now, you could wait till you're done with all of your decals, and which that is what I would recommend doing. That way you can do all your matte coat at the same time. But that is your final stage for any decal application is to go back over it with a matte varnish. Whether you're brushing it on, uh, spraying it on with a spray can, or airbrushing it on, it is a necessary step. Because without that, these are exposed and they will fleck off over time. We've done what we can to adhere them really good to keep them from folding up because a lot of your decals, if you don't use these solutions, will actually roll up over time. So the last step for sure is the matte varnish because these will roll up, fleck off, uh, and disappear on you if you don't seal them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helps some of you guys to get started. And uh, don't be afraid of this. You're going to mess it up the first couple of times. I mean, shit, I've been doing this for years and I still mess up a little bit. I mean, okay, I mess up a lot. But uh, that's the fun of it. You learn. And you don't learn anything if you get it perfect every time. I know I talked a lot about these, the Microset and the Microsol during this video. And these aren't the only products out there, obviously, for this. Uh, there's Decal Set and Decal Solvent. Um, Vallejo has ones called, I think it's Decal Fix and Decal Set. These are just the ones I like to use because I've always liked to use them. That's not saying any other brands work less or, or, or better. Um, they're all pretty much the same stuff from what I can tell. Um, the only one I don't recommend, I don't know if we're allowed to do this on these videos or not, is I don't recommend the testers. Uh, 
decal fix. Uh, it's a one stage brush on and it doesn't really seem to do shit. So um, anyway, just wanted to put that as a quick bump in here. There are other excellent uh, decal products on the market. We carry a lot of them, um, but these are by far the most popular that we sell and these are the ones that I use. So anyway, enough of my bullshit. Hope you've enjoyed and uh, we'll see you next time. Right here at Hard Knocks Games with Mediocre Painting with me, Wayne.